Hey guys, it's just me mates again. But sorry, I'm a bit emotional tonight. I'm just a bit emotional because, you know, when we've begun this journey to become anti-scamming activists, all you guys that were helping me, all you guys that helped me behind the scenes. Remember when I spoke to the barrister, the barrister said, what are you, what are you worried about? You're wasting your time. These people are going to bring themselves undone. And I was like, no! I want to bring them undone. We can't wait for that. We need justice. We need to bring these people down. We can't just wait for them to do it by themselves. And that's exactly what seems to be happening. Exactly what seems to be happening. I'll read their comments. I watch all the scammers pages. You see that the followers are waking up. They're just constantly contradicting themselves, changing the narrative. And the followers, the followers aren't as stupid as what we thought. They're waking up. They're starting to realize. They're noticing. They're noticing the contradictions. They're noticing the lies, the misinformation. They're bringing themselves down. I mean, are we even needed? Is Lucky Lance, Australia's leading anti-scamming activist, even required? It seems my barrister was right a year ago. It seems they're bringing themselves all down. Charges and all sorts of stuff going on. Nick Patterson's charged. Just today, you guys, um, no credit where credit's due, you guys did manage to get that GoFundMe taken down for that lady in Sydney. That was good. I mean, we've had some success. We're working on this Nathan Buckley scam next. See how that goes, thanks to the people that reported it. It'll be the first lawyer that we've had disbarred. You know... And there's plenty more scammers. I mean, there's dozens of people crowdfunding for illegitimate legal fees on GoFundMe. There's pl plenty for us to work on. But the main players, they're bringing themselves down. I mean, we wanted to bask in all the glory. We wanted to bra brag in rights. They're bringing themselves down, bringing themselves to justice. How the cookie crumbles. Low life scammers using a using a virus for money to grift people out of donations and merchandise sales and crowdfunding for legal fees that don't exist. They crowdfund 10, 20, 30, 40 times what the legal fees would be. They pocket the money, they get away with it. Not for much longer. I see these guys, men in blue, starting to take notice. Stay tuned. We're going to start seeing some justice. And we stick with the, we defend the legal system. It was only a, a few months ago, I was being interviewed. One of the scams, the scams send the police to my house every week. False claims. And uh, I was uh, talking with the police and I told them the story and the police officer said to me, I, was ta I talked to him afterwards, he said, I like police, they're just normal blokes, as it turns out. And he said to me, I told him the story, what I've been doing, what I've been, how we're making the reports, the ACCC, um, AFP, VicPol, Legal Services Board, all the ways we're going about it, the work we've been doing. I mean, I'm just the face of it. You guys behind the scenes, you know you are, all you nerds. And academics and professionals that can't come forward so you, you, you know, I get to take the torch I get to, you know I get the bragging rights but a lot of people behind me you know who you are I'm not gonna mention your names but you know who I'm talking about I love you guys for following me on this journey and helping me so much because we know it's a, it's a team effort and Lucky Lance obviously needs help with this sort of stuff but this cop said to me he goes mate you know what you're doing he goes, you're defending the justice system. I said, holy shit. I would never have thought in my life anyone, let alone a police officer, would say that to me with my past. That was a couple of months ago. And since then, it's 
been a big awakening, been a big epiphany for Lucky Lands. And you see, I wear Beyond Blue ribbon with pride, got it on my car. Because who's going to, someone's got to stick up for the justice system because what's popular is discrediting the justice system. That's what gets you a following, just crying out the, crying out corruption. Courts are corrupt, this are corrupt, everything's corrupt, gets you a following. People, Australians are so stupid, they're pessimistic, they love being pessimistic, they love a story of corruption, they love to think that the whole country is completely crooked and against them, right? It's not, it's not the case. The courts, the courts are not corrupt. 10,000 cases a day go through the courts. They get it right 99.9% of the time. When they get it wrong, it usually gets overturned on appeal. Sure, we don't like everything about the courts, Imagine a world without it. Imagine Australia without the courts. Bloody idiots discrediting the courts. All to make money, all for donations, all for popularity. Well, someone has to defend the justice system, and even the mainstream media. They just tell you the bad stuff. They don't really tell you when they get it right. So we need to defend the justice system. We need to defend the justice system. Someone's got to do it, and we do it as best we can. Well, don't worry, there's plenty more. There's plenty more money for page boost. We'll pump some money into it. We'll get the message out. Someone's got to defend the justice system. Sorry, it has to be me. Would have been better if it was someone squeaky clean, a librarian. But Anyway, we're not going to go away. These crowdfunders have brought themselves down. I wanted the glory, but they're bringing themselves down. There's plenty more. There's dozens and dozens popping up. There's dozens of scammers on GoFundMe crowdfunding for legal fees that don't exist. Illegitimate legal fees. Nathan Buckley being one of them. So, uh, but, uh, sorry, I didn't listen to my barrister. He was right. He was right. They will bring themselves down, these idiots. They bring themselves down. Anyway, I'm going to get going. And guys, inbox me. Tell me who we're going to work on next. Maybe we're going to change to a different area of scamming because these guys are just fucking bringing themselves down. Like we were told from the start. We are told this from the start. We didn't listen. We didn't listen. And now we're seeing it. Anyway, I love you guys. I'm going to leave it at that. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, get in contact. Let me know what the new game plan is. We'll move on to other things. Thank you to the people that went to the the media recently, you know, we've had to, uh, we've had to get behind the mainstream media. We don't all, previously we didn't all like the mainstream media too much. They do sensationalise stories sometimes and exaggerate and we don't like that, but we've realised that they're a necessary evil. We've got to take the good with the bad, just like the police. They're mostly good. We've got to imagine a world without police, right? What's the alternative? There is no alternative. Same goes for the media. We've had to, We've had to learn to have a great respect, and I do now have a great respect for the mainstream media because they have the power. They have the power to do something about these scammers. So we've had to get into bed with the mainstream media and police. The whole system. We need to be on the side of the system and fight these scamming lowlifes from the outside in. And that's what we're doing. We're Australia's leading anti-scamming activist, me lucky Lance. Being your leader, and I'm on it. That you guys, you know, I'm talking about. I know you're watching. The fact that you chose me to be your leader, it's an honor. It's an honor. And let's keep it up. We ain't never gonna quit. It's my life's work. But nothing else going on in life. This is my one focus anti scamming activism. First, I'm a father, I'm a husband, I'm an anti scamming activist. That's it. That's all there is. I'll leave it at that. Love you guys. All right. See you guys.